the tropics here as there's a lot for us to monitor. That red line shows you the movement of the hurricane hunters earlier today. They've been doing a lot of investigating on this developing tropical storm because it appears it is becoming uh, increasingly organized and, and perhaps a little earlier than uh, some of the forecast models were anticipating. It has been able to increase in its wind strength up to 60 miles per hour sustained, though the forward motion hasn't changed up all too much. Still to the north northwest at five miles per hour, but because it is moving toward the north and eventually the northeast, it is parts of the northern Gulf Coast that will have to be on guard for potentially a hurricane landfall of at least a category one as early as Wednesday. And because of how Louisiana is structured, there's going to be a really high risk of storm surge in that area as well. Rain well, it's going to bring a lot of it, at least to areas of Louisiana, and Mississippi and perhaps portions of eastern Texas. But we're just a little too far away from this eventual hurricane for it to do too much in terms of direct impacts to our weather. Yes, we've got some rain coming up this week, but because of the sea breezes, not because of any nearby tropical storms or hurricanes.